Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share something with you that the Holy Spirit of God gave to me this morning. Church, he woke me up at one o'clock in the morning and he talked to me to 609 in the morning. Praise God, I tell you, I'm thankful for everything the Holy Spirit of God does. Now, church, I'm going to reveal this amazing revelation knowledge to you, and it is the good stuff. Amen. It was amazing, church. Now, some of this stuff I've done a study on, and the Holy Spirit said that he was going to put some of the pieces together with this puzzle to uh, give another uh, revelation knowledge on this. Here we go, church. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, two and verse 10, we see Eden is the sanctuary. We know it is the sanctuary because Ezekiel chapter 47 and 12 says that the waters issue out of the sanctuary. So we know that in heaven, in the third heaven, there is a temple and a Jerusalem. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. In the book of Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1, John is taken to this third heaven. We know it is the third heaven because it is the throne. Revelations 4 and 2, John sees Jesus sitting upon the throne. John also sees the temple of God in Revelation chapter 15 and verse 8. We know it is not the new city because Revelation 21 and verse 23 tells us that there is no temple in the new city for God and the Lamb are the temple. So we see in this city that John is taken to there is a temple. Hold on, church. It's going to get really good. Yes, it is. Amen. So in Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 and 14, watch this, church. John sees a multitude of people in the heavens, and the 144,000 are there also. We know in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1, John sees a lamb standing on Mount Zion. And Zion is the church. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 22 and 23. Who is the church? The church is the temple of God. But John's not talking about the temple, our body here. John is talking about the temple, the actual temple in heaven. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 7 and verse 14. John makes it clear that those people that he's looking at came out of the great tribulation. We know that in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29, immediately after the tribulation is the return of Christ. So that's what John is seeing. John is seeing those people that came out of the great tribulation in the heaven. He also sees them in the temple. In Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 and 14. Here we go, church. We see in Revelation 14 and 1, the Lamb stood on Zion. Zion is the church. Zion would be that temple. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 22 and 23. In the book of Revelation chapter 7 and verse 15, those people that John are looking at that came out of the great tribulation, and we know that as soon as the great tribulation, immediately Jesus will return. Jesus is returning in that temple. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 15. Those people are in the temple of God day and night. That's what the word says in Revelation chapter 7 verse 15. They are in the temple of God. Verse 16. That temple will protect them from the heat. Watch this church. In the book of Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 5 and 6. There shall be a tabernacle. What? What he just tell us? He's telling us that that tabernacle, that temple is going to be here on this earth. There shall be a tabernacle in the daytime from the heat. What did Revelation say? 7 and 16? They are in the temple and they're protected from the heat. Oh, that's some good stuff, church, I tell you. So we see that that tabernacle will be upon this earth. And we see in Exodus chapter 19 and verse 8, John, I mean, I'm sorry, Moses saw that tabernacle. He was taken and shown a pattern. He saw the real deal, church. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 5, a shadow of heavenly things. Seeing the temple, a pattern of the tabernacle. 
Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 2. So we're seeing that that shadow that Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 5 and 6 is talking about is the same shadow <laughs> Hebrews chapter 8 and 5 is talking about, church. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 4 and 6, church. It's the good stuff. I tell you, that word is amazing. So we found out that Moses saw the temple that's in heaven also. He had to see it, church, or how is he going to make a pattern of it? So that temple is still there in that third heaven. And the Holy Spirit of God says that's why in Revelation chapter 20 and 6, when Jesus is reigning in that temple on this earth for the thousand year reign, that's why he creates priests. He makes those in the thousand year reign priests of God. Ain't that some good stuff, church? I tell you what, it don't get no better than that. And the Holy Spirit of God spoke to me and he said, Donna, you have all seen that temple. And that temple was the temple of Solomon. I said, Solomon's temple? He said, no, Solomon built the temple of the pattern that was given. But if you looked at the temple that Solomon had, you are seeing the temple that is in heaven. The temple that was set up on the earth in the last days and Christ will rule and reign from that temple. And that's why we see those that came out of the great tribulation in that temple. Woo! Praise God! Church, that's amazing revelation knowledge right there. God bless you, church. In Jesus Christ's most holy name. Amen.